Did you have a conversation with your parents about the rise in anti-Asian hate and the crimes, especially the violence toward the elderly? What was that conversation like for you guys? You know, for me and my dad, um, it was a political conversation. My dad is very political. Um, my mom is becoming more political, but my dad has always been that. And so, you know, obviously, uh, you know, my concern personally for their welfare, you know, that was discussed, but they live in a very, su very safe neighborhood in a suburb of Chicago. And I felt pretty comfortable that they were going to be okay. You know, obviously we did the thing as like, make sure to pay attention, you know, don't talk on the cell phone at night, like not that they're ever out at night. But I think we had this conversation at the dinner table. And I remember asking my parents, I said, do you ever wish that you were back in South Korea? Do you ever regret coming to the United States with everything that's happening with our politics, with, you know, AAPI hate issues, and even, you know, with the COVID response? You know, obviously South Korea was kind of doing amazing at responding to COVID in the early days. So do you ever wish that maybe you had just stayed? Or do you ever even think about just going back to Korea and, and just giving up on this project of the American dream? And my dad paused for a moment and then he said, no, no, I still want to be here in America. And that was like such a powerful affirmation for someone like me who often takes for granted all the things that we have. My mom and my dad will never take democracy for granted because they have seen what it's like when it truly is just an experiment and really nobody knows what they're doing. And I think that also informs my own Americanness.